Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I'm not at home. I'm in a hotel room because I'm on a little mini vacation, but I still wanted to upload something to the channel. So I'm going to use this amazing suggestion I got in the last video, and I'm going to show some stuff off. I picked out some of my favorite stuff and I brought it with me in this little box. So let's get to it. So some of the items I have in here, they're either my favorites or they're just kind of hard to find or they just don't make them anymore. Let's start off with this hat. I found this hat at FYE actually a lot of, some years ago and I just really like it a lot because it has a lot of the characters stitched into the cap. So we've got classic Sonic, we've got Knuckles, we've got Tails, we even have some rings and on the back we've got Robotnik. Next up I've got this mug. This mug I actually got online. I didn't know anything about it, but I really liked it a lot because it had this image on it. And if you're familiar with Sonic 3 or Sonic and Knuckles, or even better, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, this is the special stage from those games. And it was made by the Staffordshire Company. Next, I've got these boss battle pins. These pins are of the Chaos Emeralds. They were released in either a Loot Crate or Loot Gaming Crate, I'm not too sure but each of those only came with one pin. And so people were trying to get all seven all at once and it was kind of hard. But I really like them. They are really nice representations of the emeralds. I think two or three years ago, Crazy Boxer came out with a series of Sonic themed boxers. And I really like this one a lot. This one's my favorite. It features the Sonic Popsicle. Now it's not as goofy as the real Popsicle, but it's funny that they made these. Next up, I have a peculiar item here. This is a promo item from the first Sonic movie. It's just a star, it's a plastic star, but it lights up. And I think it changes colors. Yeah, there we go. It goes from red to yellow to green to blue, and then into purple. So yeah, it's a really nice item. This item right here is pretty curious. It's actually a tattoo, a temporary tattoo. I got this out of a vending machine in a Walmart in Michigan. And I was walking out of the Walmart and I saw that they had these designs and I recognized Knuckles. And I know that this is definitely not a licensed product, but I had to go back and see if I could win it and I got it on the second try, so it's really cool. So here's the back of that. Tapmetattoos.com So I have some unique items right here. These are the Glam Glow Gravity Mud items. And they came in three different designs. They have regular Sonic here, we've got Sonic and Knuckles, and there's also a Sonic and Tails which I have not yet been able to find. Uh, to my knowledge, these are all just the same product, just with different packaging. I don't use Gravity Mud, I don't know really what it does, but it's a Sonic item, and it's a unique one to that. So right here I have some items from the Kura Sushi promotion. So I have the lanyard here, as you can see, Robotnik, we've got, looks like Shadow, Amy, Knuckles, Tails, and Sonic, chasing after some rings and some sushi. So this is really cool, I really like this lanyard a lot. And there were also five rolls of tape. We've got Gotta Go Fast with Sonic running. And I think it says Ultimate Power there. This next one here starts with the Kurosushi logo and goes into the different characters' faces. So that's kind of cool. Knuckles got a little smushed. We have another collab logo. It goes into Sonic and some rings. We have a very colorful one here, Sonic and the Kura logo with all of the different characters, but in kind of a silhouette fashion. And then finally, we have the Eggman tape. So we've got Eggman right there, and he says, the world is mine. Next up, I have some nice items from the Han Cholo collection. So we've got the 25th anniversary keychain here, and the 25th anniversary pouch. And then we also have the Sonic stud earrings. I don't know if I'm gonna get this to focus but uh, it is basically modern Sonic's head on a stud. If I can't get it to focus, I'll put a picture up right here. There's also a class ring, which is highly sought after. I don't have it, and I'm still looking for it. Up next, I have a POG. This is a Sonic POG. Uh, someone from my class back in first grade actually gave this to me because she knew I liked Sonic. I held on to it for all this time, but for the longest time, I didn't know where this POG came from. And all I had to go off of was Sonic, Nine and Pog. <laughs> and eventually, searching through eBay, I found out that they are from the Cookie Crisp collection. And so, eventually over time, I was able to find all of the different Pogs. And this one's actually still in its original seal. 
the Knuckles Pog is actually behind here. These came in packs of four, so two sets of two. And yeah, I finally have the entire set. I really like that there's a Knack the Weasel Pog. So that's really cool. And also a Princess Sally Pog. That's really nice. Okay, right here I have some chopsticks. I really like Sonic chopsticks, I don't know why. So these are the Sonic Mania chopsticks. They were available around the time Sonic Mania came out. You can kind of see they've got green hill there on the front, and then on the end it's just light blue. So these are really cool. And I really like these, the Sonic and Kurosushi collaborative chopsticks. They were available for a really, really short period of time. I mean like two days, maybe. If you bought, I think $60 worth of sushi, and so I was able to get these online because when I went to Kura Sushi to get all of the other Sonic items you see here, uh, they weren't running the promotion yet. And I had driven eight hours to Georgia and I wasn't about to do that again. <laughs> so I did end up getting them online. The actual chopsticks themselves aren't super exciting. It's just these characters at the top of the, of the chopstick, kind of like how these look. But the case itself, I actually really like the case. It's really nice. There are actually more chopsticks available on Hot Topic's website right now, I think. So if you're really interested in chopsticks, go and get you some. So this item right here is one of my favorites. It is a glass prism that sits atop of an apparatus that lights up. So you can kind of see the lights coming from the bottom. The glass cube turns different colors over time. And you can see Sonic in the background. He's got a little speedometer next to him. This is a promo item for Team Sonic Racing. It was a pre-order item. It came with other items as well, like mugs and uh, some other stuff, I think postcards. But uh, this one's definitely the coolest item out of the group. Now, all of the items in this video I've shown off before. This one's probably one of the more recent ones. This is a Mint State 70 graded coin. This is one of the silver, I believe, $2 coins from Appmex. They released a series of gold, well one gold and several silver coins for the 30th anniversary of Sonic. And they had a small batch that sent off to be graded and some of them came back perfect mint state 70. So this is one of those. This is the only graded coin I have in my collection, but yeah, I think it's just really cool to have it. Now if we want to talk about unique, I think we've hit the jackpot with these nail covers. These nail wraps were made by Espionage Cosmetics and they feature a bunch of different designs on them, which I'll pan over slowly for you. Some of them glitter as well. I don't know much about nail covers, considering I don't use any, but they seem to be pretty high quality. And they came in these four sets. And I don't know if they're sold right now. I know Espionage Cosmetics sells them as part of a blind bag on their website, but I don't know if you can purchase them individually anymore. Now, in this box, I have one of the, probably one of the most fan favorite items, and it is the pizza cutter. The Sega Shop offered a pizza cutter for some amount of time. As you can see, it's quite reflective. Okay, so we have Sonic on the end here, of course. He rolls, very nice. And we have the classic Sonic logo on the handle. It is a pretty robust, you know, pizza cutter. It, it, I haven't used it because I still have the plastic wrap on it. But I assume it works pretty well. I'm a big fan of the practical items that the licensing team comes up with. Like the toaster, for example. I would have shown off the toaster, but I didn't have space in my box. So this is one of my most favorite items in the collection. A company called Tops, who makes trading cards, made cards and stickers for Sonic the Hedgehog and they came in this booster box and they came in little individual packs and I believe there's 36 packs in the box and they were just little you know wrapped up cards I think you got two or three cards and maybe a couple stickers so this is actually a sealed box this box is still sealed you can see the top shrink wrap on it and I have opened up another box before in the past and I was able to get all of the Chase Prism cards that I'm going to show off right here. And here we have all six of the different Prism Chase cards that are available to pull. They're really nice. I think my favorite one would have to be this one. The classic Sonic 2 pose with Robotnik in the background. This one's not bad either. So yeah, supposedly you only get two per box. I got most of these online. I was able to pull, I think I pulled one of these out of the box that I opened. So yeah, really, really nice cards. The final item I have to show off is the 
replica train that they had in Japan for Sonic's 25th anniversary. It featured Sonic, his friends, and also some of the Puyo Puyos, made by Green Max. It is still in the original bubble wrap that it came with from Japan. Uh, you can see here, 25th anniversary. Uh, I guess it was also the 25th anniversary of Puyo Puyo. That's cool. You can kind of see through the bubble wrap that we have a replica train set inside, and this is an actual working train set. I have shown this off on the channel a long time ago. This thing actually opens up to show off the different trains. I think there's five or six different train cards inside. I'm going to refer you to Treasure Hunting Sonic's video where he actually shows it off in full motion. I think he has it sitting on top of one of his uh, clothing racks. And it actually, I think it has variable speeds as well. So it actually is really cool that it's a functional train set, but it's also a very highly collectible item. I think this is also one of the most expensive items in my collection. This is what I have to show off for this video. Uh, the reason I made this video is because some of the collection items I was going to show off for July's update actually have not shown up in the mail yet. So there really isn't enough to show off for this month for a collection update. But I wanted to get something out there for you guys to look at. Also just a reminder, we're on the road to 1,000 subscribers for the channel. I want to get that goal before the end of the year. So let's see if we can get there. If you like the content in this video, make sure to like it. And also subscribe if you're not subscribed yet so you don't miss any more videos. Thank you so much for the suggestion for this video. Leave more suggestions in the comments for what you'd like to see. And as always, stay safe out there and I'll see you in the next one.